Welcome to Rainbow Six Siege Dustline DLC uh, special here with Valkyrie, the new operator, the other new operator. And here you have her. So she's uh, another lady. Well, I don't know if she's really a lady. I mean, she could be uh, mean as fuck, but you know, I hope you know what I mean. So she looks pretty cool with the tattoos on her arm. It looks pretty badass, by the way. So, um, so her. Um, her weapons are uh, this uh, SMG, which looks pretty cool. Also got a talisman on it, uh, if you can see it. Uh, there is a bit of recoil on it, but you can kind of, you know, stop that or stop that, compensate that a bit with a good grip. And uh, she also has this shotgun. Now I know shotguns are very popular with certain defenders. Just ask anyone who plays or has played against Frost Operator, so you probably know what I mean. Um, I think I prefer this one for now, especially in uh, Terrorist Hunt, where I'm going to show you this character. But in multiplayer, this shotgun might be seen a lot. It, uh, it looks pretty cool, and I think a lot of people will be using it, so you might want to think about that. Now, she also has the Desert Eagle, just like uh, Blackbeard. I'm not a big fan of the Desert Eagles. Uh, I think there's too much kick in them, and you can't compensate it with anything. So you gotta be fucking really good at aiming and compensating that while aiming and shooting. So you you really, yeah, this is really where you separate people that are good at the game with people that are crap at the game. If you're not that good at the game like me, you're gonna miss a lot with the deagle. So just so you know, uh, she has a gadget. She has the mobile shield and the C4. Now I usually prefer C4 because you can blow up guys with a shield with that, or some guys on the other side of a wall. It's usually a pretty good tool. This can also sometimes work, but I think this is better. Um, no, okay, I, I guess I can show you this as well. See, these are some of the other things you can unlock. Headgear. See, it looks interesting. So, if you like that. I mean, they're expensive, but, you know. Uh, so, yeah, that's... Uh, Valkyrie, so let's play now a match. Now, I have to warn you that I'm very bad at <laughs> defending the hostage, that gameplay or game mode. So, don't be surprised if I'm gonna fail miserably in this one. It's gonna be the first time I've played a defensive uh, round on this map. I mean, I've played uh, with Blackbeard now twice. Once to try him out and once for a video that you might have seen now already. Uh, okay, here we go. So, where would I be? Probably as high as possible. Uh, well, let's try this one. It looks like a big room, so that's usually not a good idea when you're by, by yourself. I mean, I've won these matches sometimes solo, but it's usually in good rooms, like the train room, or train museum room in Café Dostoevsky. That's a good one to do solo, by the way, in case you want to get a hundred uh, completion uh, of these game type it's worth 10 gamer score so if you really want it okay so let me board up some stuff now as you know she has uh, cameras so you can just throw one there and then see and now I can look at myself that's pretty cool isn't it and she can throw a total of four of these uh, cameras out now I don't think I'm gonna be using that a lot in this uh, game mode Wow, this is a fucking big place. Um, okay, let, I guess I could have just fucking barricaded this door. I don't know if this was the best one to... No, I don't think this was the best place for me. Because it's pretty big. And the hostage is, of course, in the middle of the fucking room. Flick it. Oh, boy. Can't board that one up, but I can board this one up. Okay, let's see. You can throw them there. You can also throw them outside, by the way. That's more your thing. Let me put some stuff down here. I heard from some uh, experienced players that they. Uh, Another one. I did not expect another one to be that close. Okay, See, her weapon shoots pretty decent. 
I know a lot of people will love the shotgun. Oh boy, that was too close. There's a lot. Oops. Nice. Okay, this is a, a bit of a mess. Now, like I said, I guess in terrorist hunt, it doesn't really make sense to um, use the camera that much. I mean, you could, but I think in multiplayer, those cameras could actually help out very nicely. So, why am I not... Oh, here, I'm not standing close enough. See, this is what happens if you don't play the game for like a week or so. You become even worse than you already are. Okay, let me pull this one up as well. Come on, come on, come on. Nah. But I really like her SMG. That's uh, that's pretty uh, cool. Oh, I hear someone placing some crazy charges. Okay, wait. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. Look at this. That fucking SMG is pretty good, isn't it? I know some people are like, well, I like shotguns more. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. I gotta admit, that fucking game does warn you. Oh boy, someone's used a smoke, huh? Oh, I'm gonna be that type of asshole. Oh, I was like, if that fucking guy survived that, I'm gonna be upset. Okay, here we go. Pretty good. And the good thing is you get your C4 back if I get fucking ammo again. So let me grab that. So that's always a good thing to get your ammo, uh, you know. So don't be afraid to use your C4 in case you didn't know. I mean, at this point you probably should know. Yeah, that noise. I guess it works both ways. No, I think we're uh, we're good here. <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess this this is also a good place to put it, right? Above there, so they walk in, and the moment they walk in, I could be like, hey, where are they? See? The last one I placed, that's where you start. And you also go to your other cameras. But you can see there, these blue circled ones, these are the ones I placed. And everyone on your team can watch through those cameras. So it's not just you, everyone on your team can look through. So it doesn't mean that you have to specifically look through. Anyone on your team could do that. Which is a good thing, I think. Okay. Oh boy, I hear breach charges being placed. I think not. Oh boy, someone's trying to shoot me in the back. I can't see him, not through the smoke. Well, maybe a little bit. Oh god, there's someone behind me! Hate shit. Fucking hate shield guy. Oh, there's another one there, huh? No, just die. Just die. Hey, nicely done. Way four or four? Okay. This is usually where the shit hits the fan. Alright. I'm pretty happy I'm doing this well at least with fucking uh, a new operator I've never played before. On a map I've never played on defensively, so I don't know which rooms are good. I thought this uh, room would be difficult to defend, but I have to say that I'm doing pretty good on my own so far. I mean, not amazingly, don't get me wrong, but I'm... I mean, I'm stopping them. That's a good thing, no? Let's see. Um, you see, the camera is still intact. They might blow up the door, but if you place your camera high enough, it's not going to get blown up. It's not like there is a kill radius. Or, and the blast radius is not that big that it actually takes out the camera. I mean, if you put it lower, it might. But if you put it up high enough. But this is also where the, the IQ will now really shine, because IQ can find these cameras a lot better. But look, 
You don't really notice those fucking cameras. Oh, what? Oh boy, I hear that fucking bomb guy. That's bad. That was almost Nazi. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Oh, fuck. Oh, there's someone with a shield, huh? Fuck, I just used my shield. Oh, boy. I don't know if I... Quick, 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 quick. Really? Woohoo! I did it! Oh, that's not bad for a first try, no? I fucking did it. I'm actually pretty happy about that. First time playing on this map uh, in the fucking Protect the Hostage and I fucking completed? Yeah. Like I said, SMG, pretty good weapon. I know a lot of people will love to use a shotgun, and I'm not gonna blame you. At close range, the shotgun will fucking usually win every time. But don't underestimate this SMG. Because when there is a little bit more distance between you and the enemies, you really want to have a weapon like this. And as you can see, it doesn't have a lot of kick. It reminds me a bit of about that weapon that uh, Ash has, even though that's an assault rifle. This is an SMG, but it's pretty fucking good. Anyway, I thank you for uh, watching. Hope you kind of enjoyed this. Found it a bit infra, well informative. Figuring out a bit about the new operators. They're really fun to use. I really like them. I want to try them in multiplayer. Even though probably a lot of other people also want to do that. I don't blame them. Hopefully I can uh, get some cool multiplayer matches for you. And uh, I thank you for watching. And hope to see you in another video. Bye bye.